I am Polygroid and you are learning at Impolygroid channel. Enjoy and have a great time. Synthesizer plays. TV station theme music. Yay. Yay. Good afternoon, friends. Good morning. Miss Kathy. How are you feeling today? Good. Oh, that's great. But you know who's not. Feeling so good today? Who? Mr. Magoo. Oh. Oh, no. Sad. Poor Mr. Magoo. What makes you feel better? When you're sick? Medicine. I heard, medicine. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Medicine. Now, can anyone tell me what this is? A pill. That's right. Pills make us feel so much better when we're sick. My mommy says, pills can hurt you. Oh, not if you follow the prescribed FDA regulations. What's FDA? Oh, good question, Sally. FDA stands for Food and Drug Administration. Who knows how a pill gets approved by the FDA? There are three steps to the FDA approval process. The first step, the scientist has to invent a pill that makes people better. The second step, the scientist needs to test the pill on lots and lots of people. And the third step, if the pill works, the scientist sends the test results to the FDA for approval. Yay! Why can't the FDA do the testing? The FDA doesn't have the money or the resources to do the testing. Couldn't the scientist just lie about the test results? Now Jimmy, why would a scientist lie about test results? To make lots of money. Okay. But that's why we have the FDA to stop scientists from lying. What if the scientist promised the FDA some of the money? Like a bribe. Yeah. No, no. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. The FDA would never accept a bribe. How do you know? You know what? Ah, uh, I think. Mr. Magoo is feeling better. Oh. I hear him purring. Oh. I feel good. The pill made me feel all better. Is Mr. Magoo addicted to pills now? What does addicted mean? My dad says, my mommy's addicted to qualudes and okay, I was mid-digestive. Sorry I interrupted. Well, it's spilt milk now. I'm told you've requested MM a favor from me. Yeah, I called your assistant. So I didn't have to bother you. Well, I need to hear it from you. So you can tell me, no? That's a chance. You have to take. All right. All I need are the research results for an advisory letter I wrote 25 years ago. I've always admired your ability to, um, remain calm in the face of an impending shitstorm. I don't scare as easy as you do. Maybe that's why we made such a great team. Is that what it was? My memory's a little fuzzy. I advised you 25 years ago not to take Zach's farmer on as a client. It must just tickle the shit out of you that it came back to bite me in the ass. If I can locate the file with the research results that you're after it's yours and what do i owe you two things destroy george and arthur's axe and then we go after the rest of the big farmer fuckfaces together i'm reluctantly nearing the summit of my existence i'd relish nothing more than an opportunity to plant one last flag a wooden stake through the heart of those 
Bloodsucking Felons. Who callously profit. From. Pill after pill. And who stole. So many of my days and. And nights since the war. Well, you don't. Need me to do that. You should do that. Well, Billy. My line doesn't reach that. Deep down in the ocean anymore. I'm not so sure. Mine does, either, Donnie. If you can pull off. This hat trick, it will. Let's just hope. You find that file. Okay, this guy. And this guy and this guy. Yeah. Mr. McBride, I don't. Want to speak to you. I just need a minute. That stunt you pulled. In the courtroom? Outrageous. You were representing. The state of California. And me by extension. Embarrassed doesn't even. Begin to cover it. I know it didn't turn out. The way you expected. I'd say that's an. Understatement, Mr. McBride. The people in this state. Are dying from opioids. It is my responsibility. To ensure. That they receive. The justice they deserve. And you just. Pissed that away in court. With your gross negligence. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Of course not. You simply create the mess. And then walk away. Without any remorse. Ms. Herrera, Ms. Herrera. Please, please, please. I need you to come to. My disciplinary hearing today. And then I can explain. Everything to you, okay? I don't need to do anything. For you, Mr. McBride. And I don't want. To hear an explanation. I've read the transcript. Yeah, but you don't know. What's in between the lines. That's what you need to know. You've wasted enough. Of my time. I couldn't say. What I needed to in open court. Please. You're out. For justice, right? So am I. So if you truly want justice. You're gonna want to hear. What I got to say in there. Ah. Did you spring. McBride from the pokey. Or did you leave him to rake. His tin cup against the bars. Or. Can we get started? Russell Drug's new number. Is 160 million dollars. It was 900 last time. I'm not the one who knocked. Over your Jenga tower. 160 was. Good enough for Tom True. When he settled Zack's farmer. Right, Rob? Hmm? It's still 900? It's still 900. 900. For Russell makes it look. Like they have. Something to hide. They do. That's why they're settling. I guess that's it then. I guess it is. Ah, uh, 600, same as Tillinger. And we'll eat. Our contingency fee on that one. What are you getting, a third? What? Oh, we were. Well, then, 400 for Russell. That would annihilate. Our entire share. You'll be eating. The whole 1.5 billion dollars. If you lose in court. No, because the jury. Will take a literal shit. On top of your clients. You don't want to go to court. 600 is a good number. That way, you get to go back. To your bosses and tell them. What a good boy you've been. They'll be happy. You'll be happy, we'll be happy. Otherwise, we're all gonna be. In trial for a month. And we're all gonna be. Fucking miserable. All right, 600. I'm happy. You. Maleficent? Yeah. Hey, we're fucking ecstatic. Thank you. Hey. Wow. Hey. I was just. I was in town, and. I figured I'd stop by, you know? Sure. Billy wants you to know. That he's working on it. Okay. How much do you know? More than you. He gave me the full rundown. Yeah, but that's not fair. Cause I don't know shit. Like, just now. I'm upstairs, I can't stall. 
I have to negotiate. A settlement. I mean. What am I supposed to? Sorry to interrupt. Hi. Ava said things went great. With Griffin. You feel good? Not really. Well, you did great. I'm sorry. This is my friend. From out of town, Brittany. Ah, Samantha Margolis. She's the managing partner. Ah, my boss. Oh. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sam. Hi. Hello. So where are you from? Chicago. Oh, great. I love Chicago. MM. And how do you guys know each other? We used to work together. Our old days in real estate. That's right. Oh, that's right. I forget. That you used to sell houses. Yeah. Would you like a ride? To the hearing? Ah, you know, I'm gonna. Take a few minutes. And I'll see you there. But thank you. It was nice meeting you. Enjoy your stay. Nice to meet you. So. It's good to see you. Okay. It's good to see you, too. Don't go to Billy's. Disbarment hearing. William. Hamilton McBride. Has engaged in misconduct. That has threatened. The administration of justice. He was held in contempt. And forcibly removed from court. He failed to communicate. Settlement offers to his clients. And refused to abide. By their decision. He breached. Privileged client confidences. And used protected information. To the disadvantage. Of his former client. To protect the public. We are asking. For his immediate disbarment. Mr. McBride. Mr. McBride? Yes. Do you have. Anything to say in your defense? Yes, your honor. 25 years ago. Zach's farmer hired me. To review test results. Of an experimental drug. And write. An advisory letter. The reason they hired me. Was because I wasn't. An expert in the field. It was just strategy. You see. These huge corporations. They, are uh, toss a little work. To all the law firms around. So these attorneys. Can't sue them in the future. This hearing. Is about your misconduct. Mr. McBride. Not corporate strategy. Right. But our ethics rules. Are meant to shield. And protect our clients. But they've become weapons. For the rich and powerful. Get to the point, Mr. McBride. Okay. My point is. Is that one of the defendants. In the case that I was. Dismissed from is Zach's farmer. They're being sued for their. Role in the opioid epidemic. More specifically. Their liability. In the manufacture. Marketing and sale. Of a drug called trimadone. Which caused. A public health crisis. And what I've discovered. Is 25 years ago, they hired me. To review test results. Of a drug that they were hoping. Would be a non-addictive form. Of trimadone. Which means 25 years ago. They knew that trimadone. Was highly addictive. Otherwise. They wouldn't develop. Another one. Another version. A non-addictive one. They withheld this information. Every step of this case. They lied. Either defend. Your misconduct, Mr. McBride. Or I'm cutting you off. That's fraud on the tribunal. Pure and simple. Oh. That's it, Mr. McBride. I've given you plenty of leeway. There's nothing you've said. That excuses breaching. A client's confidence. In open court. But I suspect. That wasn't your point. You've shown a clear disregard. For our rules. Of professional responsibility. 
and an indifference toward atonement for your misconduct. You are hereby suspended from the practice of law for a year and you are on probation until you can prove your knowledge of the rules of professional responsibility, which means you will be taking the MPRE again. This court is adjourned. I understand. But I just. I can hear what you're saying. But I just. I urge you to reconsider. Billy McBride. Just put his career on the line. In order to get that information. Into court. Now, if what he said is true. We have to pursue it. To be clear. If we pursue Zach's. And we void. The $160 million settlement and force a trial. That's your choice. However, if Griffin pulls both of the settlements, we are liable for $1.5 billion. Correct. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I will eat the $160. But Billy McBride's malpractice? Now, that's on Margolis and True. And, frankly, not my problem. Right. Better get to work. Jesus fucking Christ. Sam, do really think that you're not seeing the bigger picture here. So, if we go to trial and we can prove everything that McBride says, then Margolis and True becomes the firm that takes down Big Pharma. That's gonna generate more business than we could ever have imagined. Yeah. And what if we lose? Well, with Bloody Patty leading the show, we will. You step up, I'm really. No. That's not gonna happen. Sam, I'm confident that if you take this position. No. Ava, no. It's not happening. Libby Sifra, who do? You see. I look at you. You look at me. I wonder who. Do you see? So, what are we gonna do? We, you and I, are in the same boat on this. And the boat is fucked. I didn't leak confidential stuff. Did you? No. Then why is my dad so pissed off? The new pill isn't ready. It's not gonna pass FDA testing. Well, then make it pass. Companies fudge numbers. All the time. No. He's an asshole. But I can't just make it pass. Because he wants it. On the market. Amazon is dangerous. And I don't think. You want to be CEO. Of your dad's shit pile, do you? No. I am just so sick. Of him shitting on me. Well, it's gonna be. Our company one day, right? Yeah. So let's do it right. Okay. I hope. Your eye feels better. Hey, Dad. She's not gonna fix the test. Yeah, no problem. Fucking asshole. AC, DC, what do you do? For money honey. Can ride my tail anytime, Mr. Z. Yeah, I know how much you like. That feeling of me up your ass. You're working in bars. Riding in cars. Never gonna give it for free. Your apartment with a view. On the finest avenue. Looking at your beat. On the street. You're always pushing. Shoving. Satisfied with nothing. You bitch, you must be. Yeah, we're standing. In a queue. Just to spend the night. With you. Do me a solid, Johnny. Use that move in Daytona, huh? I want that cup. Yes, sir. That's the plan. Yes, I wonder. Honey. What do you do for money? Honey. What you gotta do? Oh, yeah. Honey. Oh, yeah, honey. Honey. What you gotta do? Ah, what you gotta do? Steering feels. A little loose now. You want me. To let Manny know? Well, I sure as shit don't. Want you going anywhere near it? Hey, Joe. Hey. Thanks for coming. 
course. Nice car. Listen, Joe, we've known each other a long time. So I won't, ah, uh, bore you. With the whole, my family is absolutely devastated. Song and dance. I mean, we are, of course, genuinely. But you're a man of science. So let's talk results. We have something on the horizon, Joe. It's a real breakthrough. Just a matter of time. Before it hits your inbox. We both know. People are suffering. Now is the time. To fast track a real solution. Is that why you dragged me? Down to this fast track? Why you got my attention, George? But there are a lot of eyes. On me right now. On everyone at the FDA. I'm not afraid of eyes. Are you? Well, it depends on what I'm looking at. How about a career change? At my age? I think right time, right price. Those eyes wouldn't even blink. I have been thinking of retiring even better. Well, I think that uh, the Food and Drug Administration would welcome a solution to this truly devastating opioid epidemic. That's great to hear, Joe. I'm glad we're on the same page. Fern will be in touch. See you. Well done. Wow. Could these FDA guys be any easier to fucking turn? Ridiculous. It's Ava. Marco let me in. Come in. Are you decent? Oh, hardly. Muscle spasms? What's your pain level? Oh, about an eight. Hmm. I had a flare up. After Herrera said she wanted to go to court. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I'm sorry. God, that McBride. You know. I find myself daydreaming about Diana Blackwood and her shotgun. If only she had had a better aim. MM. You okay? I'm not taking over the fucking case, Ava. That's not what I want to hear. Oh, I know. The stress of court. If I'm having a bad day, I can hardly talk. I can't think. If I fall, knock myself out. During opening statements, it's gonna be a fucking shit show. That would be a fucking shit show. And very dramatic. Our insurance would cover it. Not to mention the jury sympathy. It's not a bad idea. It's Patty's case. It's a risk. She's a risk. You're gonna risk. Your father's firm. His legacy, everything? Do you know what I do find odd? That really wasn't like you. To miss the fact that McBride had worked with Zach's farmer. I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Listen, feel better. I was all right for a while. I could smile for a while. But when I saw you last night, you held my hand so tight as you stopped to say hello. Oh, you wished me well. You couldn't tell that I'd been crying over you. Crying over you. You're always looking for an answer. You ever find it? Left me standing. Ah, it's tricky. It's obvious. So tell me the answer. It's your puzzle. I have to do everything for you? You raised me. It's hard to understand. But the touch of your hand can start me crying. Hey, Billy. Hi, Tom. I want you to meet my daughter. Amanda, this is Billy McBride. Billy, Amanda. It's a pleasure to meet you, Amanda. So true. You know, she's dead. I love you even more than I did before. But darling, you know, it's my fault. You did your best. Don't love me. I don't think I did. Well, that's my fault. Crying. Over you, crying. You resented me. 
There's your answer. Now you're gone. 22 down? 22 down. MMHMM. O. Oh. Resent. You never wanted. The responsibility. Never thought I'd be sheriff. You weren't great at it. It was just so hard. It kind of isn't. It's just a job. No, it's more than that. It's a whole life. Life is a serial. God, why do you have to make everything so goddamn dramatic? I love you, kid. You said your dad used to say that. You know, I used to hate him. And now, now I know him. You forgot the note you ordered. You have to read it. Trolley bells clang. In distance. Arthur? I don't understand. What's happening to me? Everything keeps getting all mixed up. What I experienced. And my, my life now. Is that normal? Yeah, well, no. Nothing about you is normal. I just feel like I'm getting further away from whatever it is I'm looking for. Maybe that's the point. Busy? Yes. You know, this. This used to be my office. And we had mice. Have you seen any mice? I have not seen any mice. Good. Good. Hmm. So. The Attorney General. Wants a trial. And how did that happen? She showed up at McBride's. Disbarment hearing. Which you would have known. Had you been there. But you were. Conspicuously absent. Yes, I couldn't make it. Hmm. Any reason? Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Well, if the judge approves a trial, then you'll be first chair litigating one of the biggest pharmaceutical lawsuits in history. How do you feel about that? Great. Really? I can think of 1.5 billion reasons why it's not great. What do you want from me? Step aside and suggest that Sam take the case. She might listen to you. Sam doesn't litigate anymore. She's lost perspective. Well, if she wants me to do it, I'm gonna do it. Hmm. I don't trust you. Well, I'm sorry, um. I could give a fuck. Because you don't matter. I think you'll find I matter a little bit. No, you don't. I matter financially. Great. Like, I made sure to deposit your equity partner capital contribution straight away. Which means that you are financially liable for your share of the $1.5 billion. Should this case collapse like a dying star in your hands? You know, it sounds to me like I'm all you got. So I would suggest that you learn how to fucking deal with it. I'll be next door, Patty. I am aware. Took a leap of faith. In yourself. Oceans deep like your mind. Hey. Hey. Um. Hey, can we talk? Yeah, absolutely. Two actually, uh. Was just thinking about. How I miss talking to you. How it would be nice to go to. Dinner or something, sometime. I think it's time that. I moved on from Margolis and True. I need to make a change. I need to, ah, uh, find. The right place that's. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I, um. We don't have to. I've learned so much. From working with you. Okay, stop. Follow. What's going on, Bob? You found me. Rob. Yeah. Are you okay? Was I ever gonna be made partner? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. You know, I. It it's time. It's time that I moved on. Okay, you know. We might go to trial on a case. You've been prepping. For a year and a half. Yeah. That's really fucking. Unprofessional. Please. Don't do this. 
Thank you for everything, Sam. Okay. That's probably Tom's wife. She called me earlier. You should take that. Hi, Judy? Okay. Well, I wish I could think of some cliché to mouth to make our parting seem less sad. But if I told you lies, I'm so sorry, or promised you the moon, the truth would come trickling from my eyes. So run, honey, run. Yeah. I appreciate that. The wind, and never stop to look inside your mind. Well, I wish I could wash all my weeping blues away and watch them disappear on morning tide. Is that bad? No. Would you tell me if it was bad? Bad news isn't my job. Forever around my mind. Tom's dead. His body washed up. On Marshall Beach. I guess he jumped. Really? Yeah, his wife just called me. She sounded relieved. Are you? Well, I just hope. He found some peace. Me too. And I wish I could fly. Like a bat from a cave. Through darkness. Of my ignorance. Good move going to Herrera. By the way. You got exactly what you wanted. Yeah, well. I didn't want it this way. Yeah, neither did I. But here we are. Yeah. Well, you know. You can still. Get on the right side. Of this thing. There is no right side, Billy. I know you want to save. Your dad's firm. But he's dead and you're not. You know, you can start. Making better choices. For the people. That are still here. Lying in my bed. I hear. The clock tick. And think of you. Caught up in circles. Confusion is nothing new. Flashback, warm nights. Almost left behind. Suitcase of memories. Time after. Sometimes you picture me. I'm walking too far ahead. What the fuck, Sam? Why did you do that? Ah, uh, you're gonna buy me. A new machine. I know you're good for it. What the fuck was that? Who's Frank? My neighbor. The one with. Ah, uh, your doppelganger. You've seen him. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Turns out. He owns the whole block. You think. You can dig up some info? Try. Oh, did you ever get those test? Results back from Cooperman? We'll see. Patty can't reopen the case. Without M. Well, Shesh said she had. To negotiate a settlement. Figured that'd happen. Man, shit's really upside down. If you're waiting on Cooperman. To do you a favor. Yeah, no shit. Is Denise happy? I think so. I don't know. She doesn't. Really tell me everything. Like someone I know. Will you tell her? I don't resent her? Where is this coming from? Well, after I got shot, I took my pain and anger out on her. I don't know how much she told you. Well, she just. All I know is that she doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, we should get going. I know you got a lot of stuff to do. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, I don't know how I'd do anything without you. There's something I have to tell you. Okay. Remember when you called me and some dude answered the phone? Yeah. Well, that's Mike. And, um, well, I mean, he and I work together at the same law firm. So he's also a PI. And he came with me on this trip. And, and, and he's kind and generous and we fucking live together. We have a fucking cat. Okay. There. Now you know. What's the cat's name? Kojak. Who loves ya, baby? That's good. Hmm. Hey. Hey. That's my research. That's my lab. Hey, I'm your boss. Let me in. 
That's my equipment. Stop it. Hey. Your personal effects will be delivered to your home. I want to talk to my uncle. He's not in the mood to chat. He can't go forward without me. He can do whatever he wants. You're done here, Kate. I suggest you review your non-disclosure agreement. Fuck you, Fern. Bye. Hi. Come on in. Come on in. Ah, why you want something to drink? All I got is, like, whiskey and tap water. I'm okay, thanks. Ah. You don't mind if I do. Hopefully. So what's up? My uncle froze me out of the company. Confiscated everything. Lost all my access. What do I do? Just hang in there. I'm working on it. Did you notice? If anybody followed you? I don't know. Did you get the Amazon test? Results from your old law firm? Yeah, I'm working on that, too. I got fired off the case. So, um. I don't need you worried. About that. What? I'm working it from the outside. What does that mean? Look, you're just gonna have. To trust me, okay? I'm gonna stop your uncle. But I can't do it without you. Are you still willing? To testify in court? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Marco. How very cloak and dagger. Would you rather walk? Through the front door? Just. Where is he? Just upstairs. Fern. Of course. I'll get him. I'm sweating. I'll spare you. Thank you. The state ag wants to void. The settlement with Zax. So I heard. And? Fantastic. Really? Yeah. Not a big deal, but. You saved me $160 million. And if we go to trial? Well. I win either way. Right? That's why you came here. To assure me. That I win either way? Right. But. Yeah, but. Let me guess. You'd like. To amend our agreement. Yeah, well. The original agreement. Was for a series of settlements. That were beneficial. To both of us. And now that's. Dead in the water. Yeah, I guess I could see. How 1.5 billion dollars would be. A tough pill. For your firm to swallow. So to speak. So to speak. Well, then. What do you propose? A new agreement. That is equally beneficial. If we do go to trial and. When you win. I'll lose my firm. Yeah, you're in. A real fucking pickle. Billy McBride was your idea. Good idea. Until you mismanaged him. Okay. George, you're right. Okay. You got me. So what do you want to do? Nothing. I'm not gonna destroy my firm. Over nothing. So lose the case. And then we'll talk. I'm gonna need a guarantee. No, let's just see. How things shake out. If we don't go to trial. Guess you came all this way. For nothing. I'll have Fern help you. To your car. He wouldn't have killed himself. Well, that's the thing. With suicide. You never really know. Thanks, honey. Would you mind saving the drink? I'm gonna go have a smoke. Mr. McBride. What's up? I had explicit instructions. To hand this to you. When you were alone. Cooperman? He always goes. For the theatrics. One more thing. Yeah? Do you mind? Huh? Do you mind? If it gets this shit over with. Go through it. Get it? Thanks, man. He's coming for you.